The kicker, Dustin Hopkins, set to get this one going. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. This is taken at the three. Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Second down, eight. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They run again with Peterson. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. But winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game. But when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, of one broken tackle to put him on the ground. Third down, Mariota escaping the pressure right. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Here's the veteran punter, Lee, as he sends this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt, three-yard return, and possession will switch hands first and 10. his way forward to about the 23-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. We well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. And he motions the wide receiver. To throw on second down. Cunningham. Looking left side, and it's complete. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, add that play to his resume reel because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big-time penetration, and throw people for losses. Looking to throw on second down. Cunningham. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. And they'll be in search of 11 yards here on third down. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. 
A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop, but that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything, so it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and maybe the offense will move a little bit better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Clock running under a minute to go in a scoreless first quarter. Second down, Mariota. Flush to his right. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked off at about the 31. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. Yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Third down, still 14 yards left. And the wide out in motion. Throwing on third and long. Cunningham. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Michael Kendricks able to get him down for a loss of 11 on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Here's Kevin Huber now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And yeah, this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And yeah, they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing. And for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. Here's Peterson as they begin on the ground. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, and you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. On second down, Peterson. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Mariota from the gun on third down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. He'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a fourth down. 
The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. On fourth down, they snap it to Mariota. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. And a great spot to start this drive from here. First down, here's a run with Peterson. And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks at the 13-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half. Back to Foxborough after this. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just hit. And he fires one that's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. This is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception and they're going to.